Greetings, punks, goths, metalheads, herberts, herbetters, Martians and subterranean folk. How you're all doing? My name's John and this is the Health Anarchist channel. Well, today I'm out for a health walk and I'm out in the beautiful little village of Tintwistle in the High Peak. Now today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically show you how to get on a health walk to boost your physical and your mental well-being. So first of all, before we get into this video proper, I'm going to go over some basic things which you need to know before you go on your health walk. So first of all, wear some comfortable clothing. I've got my favourite type of clothing on today, uh, which is very comfortable for me because I wear it all the time. But make sure you've got a good pair of footwear and that's footwear suitable for the terrain that you're going to be walking on. Now second, be prepared for bad weather. I always bring along a little rain mat, you know, like a pack a mat type thing, so I'm covered if it starts raining. Next thing, you want to make sure you've got a drink with you. Always keep hydrated, make sure you bring a drink and make sure you bring something to eat. Now, I just bought a vegan cookie from Subway on my way up here, so that's my little snack that I'm going to have later. So, always important. So, the most important thing of all is just get out there open that door and put your foot out and start walking and that's the most important thing of all so go 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 so straight away you can see we're out of the built up urban area we're out of the concrete jungle or into much more natural beautiful surroundings and this is already uplifting to the mood Now let's get into why walking outdoors in nature is good for uplifting your mood and reducing stress. Now the reason for that, if you think about it, human beings were just a type of ape really. So as a species, our natural environment is outdoors in nature. So what happens is when we come out to these places, we're basically in our natural environment. This is the environment that we were created to be in. Now. Another reason for this is we've all got legs and what are legs for? Legs are designed for walking and we're outdoors in these environments. We're actually using our legs and we're actually walking in the environment that we were created to be in. So when you think about it, all the cities and the towns and the built up areas, these are all unnatural places that man has built and they're not actually our natural environment that we were created for. So what we want to be doing is getting outdoors in nature seeing things that we're designed to see you know in the natural environment wildlife animals things like that and we want to be listening to natural sounds listening to the wind you probably won't pick it up today because i've got a mic on with a windshield but listening to the wind blowing through the trees listening to the bird song and these kind of things they really will have a positive impact on our mental health and on top of that, there's also the physical aspect, and that is using our legs, what they were designed to do, which is walking. And it's really good for working off any nervous energy that you've built up with stress and uh, releasing those endorphins in your body. And when you're outside as well, you've also got the natural vitamin D from sunlight. So it's all beneficial stuff, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a scene of where I am and then I'm going to ask you a question about it. Did you notice anything about that little clip then? Well, I can tell you what it was. It was really quiet and there was no one about and that's another benefit of getting out and walking in the countryside. It's not busy and packed in like the city. We were never designed to live, you know, in multitudes of people compacted into small areas. Now then, another great thing about walking is it's good exercise or hexercise, as I like to say. And you wouldn't think a really enjoyable activity is actually good exercise as well, but it is. So another great reason why it's great to get out walking, as I was saying, humans as a creature, we're a type of ape. And basically it would be natural for us to be out all year and to see all the different seasons. I don't mean just looking out a window at the seasons. I mean actually getting out there and walking and experiencing the different seasons of the year, whether that's walking in the summer, 
walking in the spring, walking in the winter snow, or walking in the autumn and seeing all the different colours of leaves on the trees. Now we're just at the beginning of autumn but you can just see on some of the trees the leaves are starting to change colour a little bit. So we've just got some of the leaves just starting to change colour here but we're in early autumn so a lot of the trees are still very green. So one of the nice things to be out and experience in autumn is seeing all the acorns out ripe and ready to drop. And as part of the natural world, we need to experience the natural world and get out there and enjoy the natural world. Right, we've got quite a steep hill now for a couple of hundred yards. Uh, so this is today's exercise, as I was saying before. Just walked past a young guy who looked terrified of me. Don't know why. I'm quite friendly most of the time. So I'm quite lucky in the fact that I live right on the border of the Pennines now. Uh, but it wasn't always the case and you can always get out if you put the effort in. I used to live right in the middle of a city but I used to come out for walks and I used to bring my young daughter out uh, for a day out or a picnic. It was just a bit more of a longer bus or train journey then. So there's always ways if you've got the will to do it. Now a really important part of these health walks to boost your mood up and to reduce your stress for me is to find a really quiet peaceful spot that you like somewhere you might have seen on your walk and just have a sit down there and a chill out for a bit chill out in nature and enjoy the peace and quiet now could be for 20 minutes could be for an hour if you've got the time you could sit down and chill out for two hours and it's just important to spend that time with nature and just to have that peace and quiet for a while in your life and you'll find it really helps a lot. So I'm quite enjoying walking through this little woodland area at the moment. I was on a little road before and uh, it makes such a difference now I'm back into woodland and off the man-made road. It really does. Right, I'm going to wrap this video up for today in a moment. I hope you enjoyed coming with me on this little walk today. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe and that'd be fantastic. So until the next video, keep yourself very safe. Take care now. Bye.